How's it going? Welcome to our first review in around a week now. So I do apologize, of course, uh, but sometimes you do have to take uh, a break, especially during the festive times uh, with Christmas, uh, New Year's coming up as well. Uh, so yeah, if you didn't, you know, if you did celebrate Christmas, if you do celebrate Christmas, of course, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm sure uh, it was probably different for most people just because of the virus. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Uh, and, you know, adapted, I guess. Uh, and, of course, New Year coming up. I'm sure a lot of people will also agree that, you know, we're kind of sick of this year. So, hopefully, we can have a good uh, New Year. Uh, but, yeah, we have a pretty good card here. Uh, Prime Icon, Carla's Puyol, uh, who's never been the most popular card in foot. I'll be honest, I've never really enjoyed him either. I made a review back in, like, 18, uh, where I kind of bashed him, which was very unpopular. Uh, but, yeah, he's never been the most meta you know, not the quickest, uh, and not really the biggest either, so I never really, uh, there's not really, you never really see him, uh, you know, obviously Spanish fans, uh, Barcelona fans love him in the footballing world, but, uh, you know, he's never really been a, a huge option in this game, so, uh, we'll, uh, of course get into the stats, uh, 69 acceleration, 70 sprint speed, as I said, if you did watch my Berezi, uh, review, I think these, you know, not as high-paced center backs, uh, make up for that lack of pace with their awareness and their positioning so they don't allow for those uh, You know those fast attackers to uh, get in behind and exploit now Obviously, you'll have those in oca occasional games, you know where you play someone who spams through balls or uh, You know isolates him and then you'll be in a bad situation where you'll just get paced now That's just that's just how it is now Ideally, you'll want a center back at this stage of the game to have at least like mid 70s high 70s to low 80s pace but i think if you pair him with a center back you know the boring center backs like joe gomez uh rafa veron uh, i think you'll do fine uh, and i think they'll complement each other very well but yeah the pace i didn't find to be uh overly you know to be too much of a problem uh the on the ball abilities uh his dribbling uh, he's got 54 agility and 55 balance which on the face of it looks you know, quite atrocious, but I didn't have too much of a problem with that. I thought he was, uh, you know, decent, uh, and that's probably down to his height. You know, being five foot ten, uh, his lateral movements were pretty good, uh, and that's probably just due to the lower center of gravity. Uh, but on the ball, you're not really going to want to do too much with them. You're just going to, you know, win the ball back and move it, because uh, he's got the 49 dribbling and a 65 ball control. Uh, playing out of the back, I'd say quite average. You know, he has just enough to. You know, play out of the back without losing possession with the 76 short pass and 73 long pass. Uh, defensively and, you know, physically, these are really his key uh, traits. You know, defensively, he's so smart, very aware. He's got 90 reactions, 96 interceptions. He reads the play really well and is able to pick out those passes and uh, win the ball back uh, whenever, you know, players are, I guess, moving the ball around him. Uh, just very good and very smart and as i mentioned before you know he positions himself so well uh to read like the runs is going behind him so he doesn't allow too often for those pacey players to exploit in behind uh, you can see he he understands here that uh, varon gets beat and then he's able to cover for him so uh, i do like that about him he's also got the 95 stand tackle 91 slide tackle very good tackler very strong as well he's got the 93 strength uh, despite being, you know, a smaller center back, he's very tanky, which uh, I think is very unique. And then the 91 aggression, which is very good to have for your defenders. You know, it allows him to win those extra uh, tackles, uh, those extra duels. So uh, physically, you know, I thought uh, he was very strong, very tanky, which I liked. Uh, and then he's also got 86 jumping with the 92 heading accuracy, so can even make up for that lack of height in the air with those stats. Uh, so yeah, overall, this is just, I think, a very good center back, a uh, very good value for uh, for money uh, icon, and I think he's definitely a good option. So that's going to be my Prime Puyol review. Please like the video, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.